Hello and welcome back to European Universalist 4. I'm Lord Forrand here playing as Bengal. So we've been on a bit of expansionist kick the last episode or two, so we're going to have to slow down our expansion for a while, pretty much because everybody is starting to hate me. Um, so once we end this war, which will probably be a couple of years till I actually end it, um, we're going to remain relatively passive after that um we have the start of a coalition against us but until i end this war and potentially trigger um oh my gosh what is with these errors all of a sudden i can't get an air above like eight at least eight is better than six but not by much um sorry i've just been annoyed the last couple episodes about that um once we end this, we'll probably stay relatively passive for a while. We've got a colony. Colony being built here. I don't think I can fabricate claims on these guys. Actually, I can. Oh, because Kilwa's there. We might use that claim here to invade Kilwa. Um, and expand that way. These guys are behind in tech, but I'm going to need a fleet for that. Okay. New mission. Build the fleet. Um, actually, new mission. Upgrade current fleet. And then we'll work our way that direction. Okay. Vijayanagar cannot join a coalition against us currently. Actually, nope. They still can for another year. Wow, that's really low aggressive expansion reduction rate. Is that because I have overextension? Yeah. Okay. And the other thing we have to do is we have to save up for a manufacturing because I had to cancel the one I was using earlier. Just because I needed to core that. Um, ooh. Oh, that's a problem. Um, I guess I'll not make concession, con concessions to a heathen faith, even though I kind of want to. Oh, well, we can't do that. Um, yeah, we're going to get some ideas here. Hopefully we can get to this, attract Sufi scholars, get the ideas cheaper. And we've now hit Age of Reformation, which we already have one of the things done. Um, what is our culture group, just out of curiosity? Oh, it goes all the way up to there. That's a very large culture group. Um, okay, I need to embargo Delhi, honestly, actually. Let's quick do that. I want to try and keep myself above 50 power protection if we can. And normally I'd do that with the prestige, but we don't have any, which is frustrating. Oh, wait, they're not my rival? How am I not rivaled against Delhi? I can't add a rival at war. Darn. Um, I guess I got a rival uh, embargo the Ming. That's going to be risky, actually. Now they don't want an aggressive expansion war versus me, so hopefully they won't come kill me. Okay, anyway, we got 51. Obviously it'll go down in two years, but in two years hopefully we'll have a little bit more prestige. Which I can't seem to get prestige at all, which is annoying. It's very annoying. Anyway, our colonies are going faster now that we've got some tech done. And we've got a new army being developed here, I guess. I guess developed is the right word. With all our modifiers, we have some pretty good army tradition, which is nice to see. 483, okay. Let's get that idea. Increase colonial range. Awesome. Now the question is, do I want to focus a navy? Seriously, the... Um, or do I want to focus a manufacturer? I should probably focus on aviation and I. Um, I don't think I have a dock anywhere, so it's not going to be any faster, is it? I should build one, shouldn't I? Shipyards, yeah, I should build a couple of shipyards. Uh, let's stick one there, one there. Ah, it's not worth it there. There. Okay, those are going to take a while to build, but after that's done, we'll start building a navy. 
How else are we doing here? We've got over 50 pow uh, trade power in the region, which is nice. We still don't have a dominant religion in our country. Which there's not much I can do about that. Um, Kachin, where in the world? Kachin's up here. We're going to make this into a state in Corinth. I need to do this more often. Um, okay, that's this area. Okay. Progress is slowly being made on that front. And then I need to go for a modern theocracy once I finish this last core. But we can support another unit, which is good. Um, I don't think I can recruit Rajput regiments for quite some time. Three years. Mm. Okay. How does this look? They can't join a coalition versus us. That's fine. Um, I don't know if I want to take out both nations or just one. Um, I need to take this at least and those two. Okay. Those two and that. I can't do that. Okay, can I take those two? No. Can I take this one? No. Okay, I guess the war is going to wait a while. <laughs> I'd like to make peace, but I can't. Not without dying to a coalition. Well, it's not like we've got... Um, War exhaustion right now, picking up. Until that happens, we'll stay in the war. Over, I can build another mosque somewhere, get some more income. The conversion slowly continues. Yeah, what is it going to take to get rid of all these bad errors? Something clearly more than I have. Okay. We have an access of military points. Great. I guess I could take the next tech, but I don't really need to be that far ahead of time. I don't really want innovation that much, because I'm going to lose it later on in the game. Uh, I guess I'll probably just develop land in my country. I'll develop like three or four provinces or something. There we go. Um, we are a diplomatic superpower? Charismatic negotiator. I can get 50 or I can get relations. I'm going to take the relations because it might stop. It might reduce the chance of the coalition. We've got another year or two to go. We've got to get down to 42 in order for, Jan for Janitor not to care. So, five to go, so three years. Ooh. We may have to re re risk a coalition against these guys. We do have two really strong allies, so. With Malwa and Marwar, so it's not the biggest issue. I just don't want anyone like the Ming or these guys joining in. Oops, Arakani separatists, okay. Okay, we can do this now. Um, I think I'm actually going to do the core cost, core creation cost. Because we are expanding lately. A, a little bit cheaper is always better. Now we get all the events with these guys, which is always fun. I'm not going to push for the... Um, 
uh, monarch points that much. Um, I should give land somewhat of this land to the Ulema though. That way at some point I'll be able to convert this. Does that have to be 25? Okay. Um, that enough? Me four. Just a little shy of what I need. Give this to them as well. That should be enough. Only 50 though. Oh well. Can't do any more. Not going to do any more. So we'll take that. And now we're getting the call for peace. Of course we are. Any autonomy I can raise in any province that matters? Not really. I might just have to risk the coalition, I think. In the meantime, however, can I raise any more troops? I can raise another one of those. Okay. Actually, wait a second. When can I do the... Hard to put regiments. February next year. Okay. One of the people left the coalition against me. That's nice. It's not what we need, but it's nice. I really want this one province. I really do, because then I can do that mission. <sighs> frustrating is what it is. Very frustrating. I don't think I get a benefit, though, unfortunately, from controlling the Hindu holy city, but... Cool if you did. Okay, um... Oh, well, 50% I'll take, I guess. Slightly stronger, maybe I can intimidate people into not joining the coalition. Golly, particularists have risen up. Okie dokie. As well as rebels in those provinces. Okay, um... I need to do that. Delhi is not going to care pretty much no matter what I do, which is good. My army is going to lose that battle. Oh, okay. That's not so good. Oh. I guess I just was outnumbered. Okay. We may have to strengthen some of my armies, I guess. Um... They still would join that coalition. <sighs> well, if they're all going to join anyway, I might as well take what I can, right? Might as well just do this. It's risky. But, I'll do that. Demand Gujarat fealty, which is nice to have done. Get that idea group, raise autonomy, and just hope I don't die. Oh, I do get a benefit from controlling it. I get... No, I only have one. Okay, so it gave me two, and now it's down to one again. And there's the coalition. Okay, I am in some trouble here. This is going to be a problem. Um, actually, they're going to attack me, aren't they? Um, allies, I guess. I need to strengthen my alliances, because I'm going to die otherwise. <sighs> not good, not good at all. Can I rec recruit the Rajaputs yet? No. So I guess I'll raise troops on my own then. We still have a very, very strong army. And we should be able to survive, but Vijayanagar is 
Powerful in their own right. Very powerful. Plus we can slack in recruiting standards because we have a fair amount of army professionalism. Not that I would like to have to do so. Oh, colony is finished. Nice. I can make it over to here. Awesome. Okay, so we are making it to Africa. It's mainland Africa itself, which is nice. Drill you, merge you too, keep you drilling. Why am I losing cash? Army maintenance, okay. Make states. Shindwin, where is, is that? Where is that province? Oh, over here, okay. Just trying to make, core as much land as possible so I can hopefully raise more units. That's the goal. Not succeeding though. Asking me to join them in fighting Delhi. I have a coalition. Oh, bother. Yes, I'll help. Ugh, bother, 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 bother. Okay. I just got to be careful not to lose a lot of my troops. That's basically what it's going to come down to here. If I lose my armies, we'll have a coalition war. If I don't, we'll probably survive. Almost also got to the next reform, which will be nice. I think we've got a claim, yeah, on these two. So those will be the two we occupy. We actually have claims on those three or four, but... Invincible, I like the sound of it. We don't need military points for a while, so that's fine to do that. <sighs> Coalition is growing. I think we're only fighting Delhi, right? Yeah. The wars when I betray my allies in India are going to be vicious. And a problem. The Delhi's just getting dogpiled by everybody, so... Break Delhi's army if we can. We did. Stack wiped too. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to raise war taxes though. This is my level 4 siege general. That is a nice uh, siege rate. And I'll march down there. Kind of hope they don't give us too much land in this war. They promised me territorial lands. So now we've got claims in this area, which is nice. I think it's time we should probably consider annexing these guys. Uh, maybe after we finish the uh, exploration idea tree a bit. Any chance, Delhi, that you're going to reoccupy that province, the Wurgle? I really kind of am hoping Delhi occupies this province, because then I can take it. And maybe Malwa won't go too strong. Uh, but I guess they won't. So they're going to focus on reoccupying land I took? That's weird. Wurgle... Focus on the war goal, enemies. Or not. Okay. 
Um, you know what? Let's see how we're doing over here. We still don't have a dominant religion, which is frustrating. Oh my, we got one province. Also, Multan has apparently reemerged. Still one province. Not bad. Would have been nice to pick up a little more, but uh, Delhi has been broken, so that's always good to see. We need another rival, really. Um, who can we rival? Only our ally. Not worth it. Okay, now we just pretty much hope we don't have a coalition. Oh, and we're building a navy, aren't we? Or we will be building... We should be building a navy. Once I upgrade this center of trade. There we go. Gotta try and keep generating as much cash as possible. Any of chance either of these guys went religious? No, quant diplomatic. Yeah. Okay, well, we're not dead to a coalition yet, so I guess that's progress. Yeah, there's a couple of animists out here, I always forget that. Yeah, there's nothing I can do there. Okay. Um, drill, I guess. Land force limit modifier. I guess I could build up an army using that. Okay, um, I think I just need more infantry, really, at this point. More troops, the better. Seven hundred and forty-seven, six hundred and sixty-eight of my own. Okay, it's not bad. Could be better. Could be worse. Max out my new higher force limits. We are first in diplomatic and military, fourth in admin. Not bad for Bengal. And we're going to get this reform in a couple years. Or sooner. Plus we'll get cheaper idea costs. Even better. So, next idea group. Um, I'm thinking religious for the conversion. Or the humanist would make me really tolerant. Oh, it's so confusing. Oh, I'll take the merc mercantilism. Or admin for the cheaper core costs. Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know which one I want to do. That is a tough dilemma, actually. One, we could convert most of India to being Muslim, which would have its own benefits of a fairly stable area. On the other hand, we would lose access to most of the Hindu benefits. I think we might just go tolerant. Yeah, I think we might just do tolerant um, humanist, because then we'll be tolerant of everybody. I think humanist probably. Admin ideas would be nice and probably would be the next idea group, but I think humanist would be the right one to do. It'll mean I don't have to kowtow to the Brahmins as much. 
So we can let Ay, we can get rid of this air again. Magoo is calling me into war versus Ava. Okay, um sure. Hopefully we'll get a good air. Hopefully. <laughs> we haven't succeeded in a while yet, but someday we'll get a good air. Another news, let's start uh, building some ships. There we go. We need a handful of heavies at least. Obviously we'll need a good fleet of transports, but the heavies will be good to start. What is the benefit of the, these regiments again? Morale, reinforce costs, and drill decay modifier. All very good. Hey, we got a good air. Only took us, what, four rerolls? Three or four rerolls? Oh, we got inflation. Do Eastern countries not get prestige advisors? Because I haven't seen one in a long time now. Oh yeah. I'm going to occupy all this land so that the ally can't actually get anything. Yeah, they didn't actually get us anything. Aha, that's what you get for calling me into a war. Okay. Um... Publicly devouts her own faith. I will take the prestige hit. So many prestige hits though this game. It's annoying. Um, let's do this reform. This will give us a huge benefit there, but now if we do the uh, um, enlist them, we get 10 discipline and 10 fire damage, I think, right? Five discipline, yeah. So we get ten. Okay. Awesome. That'll work well. Still staying up here, still drilling away, staying out of trouble. Put another cannon in. Um, I'm gonna quick throw down some transports in these other provinces that are connected to the ocean somehow. Um, that'll give us what, like. 16 transports and seven or eight heavies that should be enough to say invade madagascar so anyway that will be it for this episode thank you guys all for watching and uh bye for now